a question was asked me, <coughs> what puja we are going to have today? <coughs> and I kept it a secret. Today, <coughs> we should worship the Paramachaitanya, the all-pervading power of God's love. <coughs> we are aware that Paramachaitanya does everything, at least mentally we know, that everything is worked out by the grace of Parama Chaitanya, <coughs> which is the power of the Adi Shakti. But still, <coughs> it is not so much in our heart so much in our attention <coughs> we can consider Param Chaitanya like a ocean <coughs> like a ocean which contains everything within itself everything all the working everything is within its own limits. So it cannot be compared with anything. You cannot compare it. Now if you see the sun, then from the sun the rays have to come out to work it. If you see somebody, say, a person who has an authority, he has to assert that power outside. So within himself, he doesn't work it out. Say, for example, if there's a seed and inside the seed only the tree grows and the fruits come out and then they are sold and people eat it and everything is inside that seed, then that is Param Chaitanya. So we are all enveloped in it. And only the waves that we see, and we are on the waves, so we see it as dislocated, separated. <coughs> like we feel, uh, this is Germany, or this is England, this is India. These are just folds of the sari of Paramachaita, which look separated, but they are not separated. They are continuous. So the connection is absolutely complete. If I pull a thread from here, the thread will throughout be pulled. In the same manner, this Parama Chaitanya is working within itself and there is nothing without. So when you are Sahaja Yogis,
it pays special attention to. Or I should say, it becomes absolutely one with you. Whatever you desire, whatever you want, also will be coming from the same Paramachaitanya, if you are one with it. Like in a, say, turbulent ocean, some drops of water may fly into the air and start thinking that we are above, we are away from the world, away from the ocean. But again they have to fall into the same. So this formless energy, which has all the intelligence, all the coordination, all the organizations, all the computers, all the televisions, all that you can think of communication and of governing, of administration, and above all, it is the love. It is the love of God and love of your mother. So, to be one with this Paramachaitan, you have to know that you have to become the reality. For example, if you take a photograph of mine sitting here, maybe my photograph might give you living vibrations, all right. Though it's a photograph. But if you take a photograph of somebody else, It will not work out Sahaja Yoga. The reason is that somebody else has not become the reality. It's like any other painting you should see. Supposing we see a painting where it is raining. This rain does not nourish the flowers, it does not Rest the cloth of the people who are there, it is static. So in ignorance, in ignorance, we just have the picture which is static about reality. And that is the reason why we think we can work it out, ourselves, everything. Now if somebody says that I see this picture, no lie, and I'll make the rain as a real thing, you cannot. Try anything, put whatever color you like, it may appear, it will appear, with effort, but it will not the ha ha it will not have the capacity, nor the nature of reality. So human beings always deal with unreal things, thinking they are doing something great. We can get flowers which are real, of course, we can feel them. We can create plastic flowers, we can create paintings, exactly the same as they are, 
but we can't produce one flower on our own. We'll have to go to reality. Is that the Mother Earth is going to produce it, or the Sun is going to help the Mother Earth? So, all of you Sajogis have to know that in reality you do not do anything and everything is done by Paramachaitanya. This is the difference between a non sajogi and a Sajogi. A non sajogi does not know and even if he knows, this is not the truth in his heart. It's not a part and parcel of his being. But a Sahaja knows that reality is Paramachaitanya and it is reality that works out everything. And then this reality is the Divine Love. We always separate love from action. To us, love means uh, some sort of a mad behavior towards a person. It has no technical know-how, how to love. It works without any understanding. When we love somebody, we don't know what do we do. We think we love you. Tomorrow we start saying, I hate you. So how can it be love? We love our own children, love our own family, love our own friends which is so unreal. If it was real, it would never have failed. That you cannot definitely say that, all right, today you'll work for your son and be very selfish about your son, but you can't say tomorrow how he will treat you or you'll treat him. But Param Chaitanya knows. It knows how to express its love. Not only that, but it's an eternal feeling of love, which may change its hue, color, but the concern of that love will be the same. The essence of love is concern. Even if, supposing, somebody does wrong, the concern of the Divine would be to correct that person, concern. What would we say as Hita is the benevolence. So the concern for the benevolence will be all the time there, whether it may appear to be sometimes cruel, might appear to be affectionate, might appear to be overindulgent, whatever it may take a form, like a wave. Whichever way it may look, but actually it's for your benevolence. It works for your benevolence not only your benevolence, but the collective benevolence. And it knows very well what is to be done, how it is to be worked out. It does not have to go and learn from anywhere, because the complete knowledge of all this know-how also in, within itself. 
it's such a storage of wisdom, knowledge and love. So it does not deviate. Once you become a Sahaja Yogi, the concern for your benevolence is all the time there, whether you are punished or not is a different part. Some people might get a job, some people will not get a job. With some people it will work out this way, with some people it will not work out that way. Then one may say that, how is it, this Param Chaitanya is behaving like this. It's all for your correction, it's a big journey. Whatever works out for your correction and is for your benevolence, if you understand this point, then you'll never be disappointed in your life. And it has no concern of its own benevolence, because it is complete benevolence itself. It never thinks how it is going to be benevolent or helpful, because it has no botheration about it. A man, say, who has everything, worldly things, still may be concerned about getting more, the greed there will be. But as it is the complete Puna, it has no greed. is fully satisfied with itself. And because it is so powerful, so knowledgeable, that it has no doubts, no doubts of any kind. And because there's nobody which can harm it, it has no fear. And you all have now felt that Parama Chaitanya should give you a complete fearless life, a peaceful life, and a joyous life. Like a child who finds his mother, then he stops crying. No more, now he's found his mother. In the same way you have found Parama Chaitanya and the connection within. So you don't have to worry for anything, don't have to think about anything, you don't have to plan about anything. Only thing is you have to jump into it, just jump into it and know that you have become part and parcel of the reality. This, if you have understood, I think we have done a big job. Now we are in Germany, and you know, in Germany there have been people who have tried to shatter the hopes of human beings. But even that happening, that took place, all those horrible things happened, that so many people died, of course they are born again, no problem. And such problems came up that they were uh, thinking that the whole world will be finished. They were so much worried, they thought that the whole world will be finished but did not. But this war has taught us a lesson. It has made us more collective. It has made us understand each other. Otherwise, how do you come out of the ignorance that we are this country, we are that country, racialism, 
then this so-called nationalism, so-called patriotism, all these separating forces, divisive things. So clearly we are all human beings, uh, we should be treated as human beings. If you see the history, after every war there has been a speedy movement towards knowledge, knowledge of oneness of the world. It is something like you have in a spacecraft that a container is built in one into another. And the whole thing comes into a speed, some velocity. And then the lower contain container bursts or explodes. When it explodes, it gives a higher speed to the rest of it. And so the acceleration of the velocity takes place. And that's how one can go into the space. In the same manner, all these horrible things that have happened are explosions which brings you towards knowledge that there's something wrong with us, we are living with something unreal. Now the problems, today's problems as they are, like ecology problem, AIDS, drugs, all these modern pro problems and poverty. If you see it like a witness, you will see these are quite shocking. These are very shocking things. And all these shocking things should really shock our mind, should really shock our mind. Why we have this problem? And these problems, some of the stupid leaders think that we can solve by making more money. We can protect ourselves from ecology if we have more money. And that we can pollute the atmosphere because we'll have more money. And then we can protect ourselves so that everybody will have to have a mask moving about all over the place. But we should make more money to protect ourselves, doesn't matter if there is ecological problem, doesn't matter. So you move about like a person who is entering into the area which is all full of fumes. All these stupid ideas come up because they do not see that what is human dignity is that human beings are above everything else, above machinery, above all material things of the world. They will not talk that we'll balance the machinery, no. What they will talk, that will make a man a greater slave of the machinery because he must have money, he must have more money, and with this more money, we can protect ourselves against this ecological problem. It is absurd. But if you understand the human dignity, then you have to understand that as a human being, we have to take a very positive, wise step to stop all the nonsense we have been doing.
like now most of the uh, French uh, shores, the beaches are polluted. Naturally, because they started a funny thing called holiday making on the seashore. So this is the result. Now do what you please. You cannot do all that. It has stopped. So instead of the human brain research, instead of understanding that we have done something wrong, oh, they will say, we will start some new method of cleansing this. They will never condemn what has gone wrong with them, that they have become so addicted to this kind of a funny life that they have on the seashores. Now AIDS, you'd be amazed that in America, why even they said that they were in Los Angeles itself, 700,000 people who glorified themselves as martyrs of AIDS because they are achieving such a great goal of leading a life which is nonsensical, as if like a big revolution. And thinking that they are very, very great revolutionaries, great people, that they are supporting these AIDS uh, disease, I am glorifying it. Can you believe that this kind of assertion will be accepted? People only laugh at you. But everything is so money oriented. They like to advertise it, they want to talk about money help. They want to say that this is happening because uh, if they had more money, they would have taken more drugs. Because they have no money, that's why they are thieving. So we must give them money so that they can take drugs. Or they can take to this kind of life. On the whole, if you see, people have lived with something which is so unreal, all their lives, absolutely unreal. And when it comes to facing it, that we've done a mistake, we should not have done this mistake, then they retreat and take a, another glorious image, artificial and unreal, saying, that, oh, we are great, we are martyrs. And this is what is, what we call is Kali Yuga, where everything that is ignoble, everything that is to be detested, everything from which we should have protection will become the goal of people to achieve. I hope you have understand, understood that the all-pervading power around us is the one that is doing Sahaja Yoga, is the one that has brought you to Sahaja Yoga and is the one who has given you blessings, is Paramachaita. So which it has worked out. So today's prayer should be that we be more and more aware that we are part and parcel of that Param Chaitanya and that we can feel that, we can use that power, we can work it out. If it is felt today that way, I think a lot of work has been done already and we are blessed for that. Anapataye, Amiga, Rajasam, Tatamati, Amiga, Evalam, Tatati, Amiga, Evalam, Tatati, Amiga, Evalam, Tatati, Amiga, Sarvam, Kalvidam, Brahmati, Tvam, Saksat, Atmati, Nidyam, 
Ritam Vatmi Satyam Vatmi Avatvamam Ava Vaktaram Ava Srotaram Ava Dataram Ava Dataram Ava Nochanam Ava Sisyam Ava Pachatat Ava Purastat Ava Taratat Ava Dakshinatat Ava Tordvatat Ava Daratat Sarvato Mam Pahi Pahi Samantat Tvam Vang Maya Tvam Sin Maya Tvam Ananda Maya Tvam Brahma Maya Tvam Satit Ananda Dvidyosi Tvam Pratyaksham Brahmasi Tvam Gyana Mayo Vigyana Mayosi Sarvam Jagadidam Tvato Jayate Sarvam Jagadidam Tvatastishtati Sarvam Jagadidam Tvahi Laya Mishyati Sarvam Jagadidam Tvahi Pradyeti Tvam Bhumi Rapo Nalo Nilo Nabha Tvam Sadvari Vakpadani Tvam Guna Traya Sita Tvam Deha Traya Sita Tvam Kala Traya Sita Tvam Mula Dara Sityosi Nityam Tvam Shakti Traya Tmaka Tvam Yogino Dhyayanti Nityam Tvam Brahma Tvam Vishnu Tvam Rudra Tvam Indra Tvam Agni Tvam Vayu Tvam Surya Tvam Chandrama Tvam Brahma Bur Bhuva Svarom Ganadim Purva Mutsarya Varnadim Tadanantaram Anushvara Paratara Ardendu Lasitam Tare Narudam Eta Sava Manusva Rupam Gakara Purva Rupam Akaru Madhyama Rupam Anusvara Shantya Rupam Binduru Tara Rupam Nadha Sandha Nam Sanita Sandhi Saisha Ganesha Vidya Ganaka Rishi Nishri Gayatri Chandaha Ganapatir Devata Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha Eka Dantaya Vidmahe Vakra Tundaya Devahi Tano Danti Prato Dayat Eka Dantam Chatur Hastam Pasham Mankush Darinam Radam Sa Varadam Hastahir Vibranam Moshak Vajam Raktam Lambudaram Shorpa Karnakam Rakta Vasasam Rakta Gandanu Liptangam Rakta Pushpai Supojitam Bhaktanu Kampinam Devam Jagat Karanamatyotam Avir Bhutam Cha Shristya Dao Prakriti Purushat Param Evam Dya Yati Yo Nityam Sa Yogi Yoginam Varaha Namo Vratapadaye Namo Ganapadaye Namaha Pramatpataye Namaste Astu Lambodaraya Eka Dantaya Vigna Nasini Shiva Sutaya Sri Varada Morshaye Namaha Sakta Sri Hari Shakti Matati Sri Nirmala Devi Namo
German unmarried girls, please someone says. Only German unmarried girls. Only German. Kalla Vandita 
Buddha Bhapya Hapya Kapya Bragur Bhagavarchitam Sine Kalla Jalla Loka Pala Vannitam Purna Brahma Surya Vana Purusham Purantakam Kalpa Vruksha Bhakta Raksna Mostu Tega Janana
song page two.
अहम निर्विकल्प
Marathi songs page 11 
धेरे Thank you. 